Right, so since the world's opened up, I've been lucky enough to go to some lovely places outside of the UK again. Now, obviously, when I travel, I like to take a laptop with me to check emails, do a bit of work, a bit of media consumption, etc. And this got me thinking. I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat, especially if you're going on a cruise. Boat? Cruise? And you might be wondering what the best portable laptop might be for you that still gives you really good performance. Well, one possible choice for a few years now has been the LG Gram series. So when LG reached out to sponsor a first look at their brand new version, I thought what better way than to take it on my latest excursion. So firstly, I have to point out, yes, I was in a fantastic mood when testing this model, largely thanks to the beautiful weather, wonderful food and some delightful refreshments. But I can promise you it didn't sugarcoat my opinions of this laptop. So casing point at hand, it's portability. The LG Gram 2 in one comes in two different sizes, a 14 inch model and this 16 inch one. Now this 16 inch version is super thin and weighs in at just 1480 grams. For reference, my 16 inch MacBook Pro weighs in at over 2000. And in fact, even the 14 inch MacBook Pro is heavier than this. Now, obviously this is great, but with that, you do get some possible drawbacks depending on who you are. Like as an example, because it's so light, it does kind of feel like it could be plastic, even though it is a form of alloy. Now, if you do have this laptop, you could potentially do away with a tablet if you have one, as this can double as with its 360 degree hinge and 2560 by 1600 IPS touchscreen display. Now, personally, I'm not a massive fan of using laptops in tablet mode, just I find having the keys on the back is a bit of a weird feeling for me, may not bother you. And you also have an option for either stand or tent mode, although I personally wouldn't advise sleeping under it in rain. Inside the retail box, you get a make your own pencil holder and calendar, a stylus pen, more on that in a second, the laptop itself, the manual, charger and HDMI adapter, which is a nice little touch. And interestingly, the package itself is made from recycled paper, which I think is great. Now we're looking at the colors available. I personally would go with a lighter version, um, but that's personal preference. And they all, of course, have the exact same ports. You have a headphone jack and two Thunderbolt 4 ports on one side, which you can use for charging also, and a micro SD card slot, power button, and a USB 3.2 port on the other, which has this strange little flap over half of it. I think it's on there to only add to more of an illusion of being ultra thin, but you do have to flick it open to insert the cable into it. Interesting, not sure how I feel about it. And I also would personally prefer to have a Thunderbolt 4 port on this side as well. Charging from only one side can be a bit difficult depending on where your power outlet is. You also may be a little bit perplexed by the news that we have a power button on the side when you may have noticed there's a power button on the keyboard as well. But this is in case you are using the laptop in tablet or tent mode and you don't have easy access to the keyboard to press the power button. Now, in terms of that keyboard, it's a very solid one. There is a fair amount of flex to it, something to note, and the keys are slightly mushier uh, with slightly more travel than I've been used to recently, but it is still really comfortable to type on. And it's a similar vein with the touchpad. Again, fairly high flex levels, but it is really nice and responsive. The display has a 16 by 10 ratio, which is possibly my favorite laptop screen ratio going at the moment, a sort of halfway house between a three by two for all that lovely juicy screen real estate, great for video editing, etc., and a 16 by nine for movie consumption, gaming, etc. Like I said, this kind of fits somewhere in the middle. 16 by nine is possibly my least favorite out of all laptops going at the moment. So I would go for this or a three by two. The screen itself is really nice and vibrant in terms of colors, although it could be a little bit brighter, especially outdoors. And I did find it was a bit of a struggle in the bright Portuguese sunshine. As Soon as I came back to the UK and had a couple of cloudyish days, I didn't notice the screen outside at all. Inside, of course, as you can see, still really nice, bright and vibrant. We do have really nice thin bezels all the way around, and they've managed to do all of this while still being able to have the face login feature. And Finally, a 1080p webcam. Anything higher than 720 in 2022 should be applauded at this point because it's taken too long. Phones have had 4K and even 8K in some circumstances for the last couple of years, and yet we've still had 720p uh, webcams, which is mind blowing. Now the face login feature doesn't appear quite as accurate or at least as quick as the majority of smartphone versions, for example, or a fingerprint scanner on laptops, which 
I would like to see on here as well. It doesn't seem to be unless I'm missing that in the settings. Having that face login feature is great. I would like to have a scanner as well, just in case, but still a small point and still pretty quick. Now the stylus it comes with has customizable settings that can be altered all within the Windows 11 software framework. And on top of everything you know and love from Windows 11, you also have some LG quirky tweaks which actually can be pretty helpful. You can access the LG Smart Assistant dashboard for quick settings and settings for your keyboard, power, display, and you can also set up the inbuilt Alexa compatibility feature if you use that tool. Now, being this tiny, I wouldn't expect it to be necessarily hugely powerful. I wouldn't, prior to testing, think of using it for high-end video editing, you know, power intensive gaming, etc. But in all fairness, the performance is no slouch. You will notice the Intel Evo i7 sticker and it's 12th gen, 1260p, 2.1 gigahertz. And the benchmarks back up my performance sentiment. The LG Gram is a performer all right. Most people that would be looking to buy this are probably going to be students or people that travel a lot, checking emails, opening multiple Chrome tabs, streaming media, multitasking, etc. And for all of that, work and play, this will be more than powerful enough. And apparently, according to LG, you can get up to 18.5 hours of battery life for tasks like watching videos, for example. I didn't feel I quite got that, but it was there or thereabouts. The one time I did try a bit of gaming on here, the battery did sort of dwindle a lot quicker. Now, if you are looking to settle down to a nice movie or listen to a nice bit of music, then you might be interested to know about the speakers. And it's a bit of a halfway house here. No, they're not the best speakers I've tried on a laptop, but they're not too bad at all. They're certainly loud enough, but just simply because we don't have any up firing speakers here, I don't feel they sound as rich as some of the other ones I've tested. So all in all, if you are a Windows user, then this is a very, very good option for you. Is it the most powerful laptop I've tested? No, but this is a fantastic middleman in terms of performance and portability, because quite frankly, throwing that in your bag and having such functionality is a joy. LG proving again that their Gram series is right up there with the best portable, ultra slim, lightweight laptops going. Certainly, if you're a student, or you travel a lot, you want to throw it in a bag and be able to do most things really, really well. Another top option, price, key, all the information linked in the video description below. Go through and check it out and let me know in the comments what you think. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more content like this. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Take your peace out.